Day 19. Good morning, nurses. Nice to wake up to a bunch of smiles from a bunch of angels. I must be dreaming in the heavens. Saul, good morning. How was your lucid dreams last night? Any more nightmares? Haha, oh, not for me, Dr. Mio. But I've had one of the best deadliest lucid dreams of my life last night to experience. This was one lucid dream that I would love to see becoming real one day, Dr. Mio. As for your patients, this might be another horror story for them to be writing about, haha. Oh, oh. I think their souls got burnt up last night, haha. Oh, oh. And if their souls got burnt up last night, I know their souls felt no pain because their soul death would have been that sudden, haha. Oh, oh. Cough. 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 Nice to wake up with a toke to refresh your lucid nightmares. WTH are you talking about, Saul? I am talking about lava surfing, this is what I am talking about. Lava surfing, what the hell were you smoking last night, Saul? Ask P6 WTF you were smoking. He was the one who came up with this ridiculous and deadly idea. I only did it because he dared me to lava surf with him. Cough. Cough. Off. And boy was I glad I did. What did you just tell me, Saul? P6 was able to change the outcome of your lucid dream? Dr. Mio, maybe I need to rethink what I've just said to you. But in reality, yes he did have a part in influencing my lucid dream and making me do something that I had no idea it was invented yet. Talk to P6, it looks like he has awoken. I need another smoke break. Oh, crap, Soul and Dr. Mio. That was one sick lucid nightmare last night, to be surfing on lava. Yes, I have to admit. I did fall off of my lava board, and I do not remember anything after that, thank God. I would hate to have seen where my soul went inside the fiery pits of hell. I wonder when mankind is going to invent a deadly sport like this one. A hellish ride. One must experience in life, before their soul burns to death. Okay, P6. Relax, it looks like you found your new death toy to play with. But please take some time this morning and write down your soul travels from last night, and Saul mentioned something to me about how you were able to change the outcome of Saul's lucid dream, and you turned it into a lucid nightmare for other souls to live through. Wow. For Soul to say that I changed the outcome of one of his lucid dreams is profound. If I had control of what was going on, then how in the hell did I fall off the love board and that was the end of me being inside Soul's lucid dream? If my soul would have really died, would have Soul died too? If I had control of the outcome of his vivid lucid nightmares that I feel and see each night with him, then why is my soul dying all the time, and sometimes Soul's soul does not die? Do you think that I really seek out my own death and soul's lucid nightmares? It is not my mind that I am soul traveling in. So how can I control the outcome of last night's lucid dream that soul had? I am very hungry, and please soul, do not put words into my mouth or other mouths. Maybe you need to go smoke some more and rethink what happened in your lucid dream last night that ended up in a lucid nightmare for you to live in, and for our souls to live in it too. Dr. Mio, P6 might be right, and I might be wrong. Sorry P6, for me accusing you of something that you did not do, but... Wasn't you the one who told us about lava boards? Haha, <laughs> lava boards do not exist so. How could I be telling you about something that I had no clue what it was, until last night? But if you think that I caused your lucid dream to change, what if I did not mention the lava boards to you? The volcano erupted and we were lava surfing down the volcano at the same time, right? So, what if we did not have the lava boards? What then would have happened to all of us in your lucid dream? Okay, Dr. Mio. Soul is right. I did influence Soul in his lucid dream and made him do something that I wanted to do, but I did not influence the outcome of his lucid dream, nor what had happened to my soul or Soul's soul. How strange can this be, thinking about it right now? Saul, go smoke some more right now, take a hot shower and rethink what had happened and if P6 was able to change your thoughts while you were dreaming. 
This could be a big game changer. And I was not expecting the results like this. Sounds like a good idea about smoking more. But Dr. Mio, for me to rethink about what had happened last night. Is no importance to me, maybe for you. But for me to have someone sold to be able to change the outcome of any dream that I am having. I remember a dream that I once had, and I do remember doing what another soul told me to do, just like last night. Now, how can a soul enter into my lucid dreams and convince me to change the thinking of a mind that is not theirs? Like I told you in the first interview that I had with you Dr. Mio, I told you that I wanted to know who are these souls in my lucid dreams, right? When your patients are in my lucid dreams, I know exactly who they are, but what about the other souls who are in my lucid dreams, are they also soul travelers able to travel like you once did in my lucid dream, to convince me to come to meet you? If so, how can other souls be able to travel into my lucid dreams? How, if their bodies are not hooked up to my IVs? But the real question is, can I also be able to do this too, or am I already soul traveling, and I was in P6 lucid dream last night, instead? And I do not even know that my soul is the one that is traveling to other lucid dreams, instead of their souls traveling into my lucid dreams. Or is the universe full of soul travelers, and all of our souls can meet each other in our lucid dreams, if we knew how to dream like this? Take a hot shower and think about it, Saul. I have no idea how to respond to what you just said to me. Matter of fact, write down your thoughts, and I will let the other patients read what you just told me. I have no time to be writing to you or to others, I told you my thoughts already. If you want to discuss it with others, great. I was only suggesting if last night I was in P6 dream instead of mine, to have him be able to change my lucid dream last night. See you tonight, Dr. Mio. Good afternoon everyone. This morning something new was brought up in a discussion P6, Saul and I had. Saul was accusing P6 of having the ability to change Saul's lucid dream last night and P6 was able to turn Saul's lucid dream into P6's own lucid nightmare. Saul claims that P6 was the one who told P4 and Saul about the lava board and it was not Saul who mentioned anything about lava surfing which to me it does sound like P6 had a way to be able to convince Saul into seeing and believing in a real lava surfboard. Saul mentioned one thing to me, why are all of you here right now? I was able to soul travel into all of your lucid dreams and my soul convinced all of you to visit me one day. So I have to be a firm believer to that P6 last night was able to change part of the outcome of Saul's lucid dream and then turn it into a lucid nightmare for Saul to experience along with P4. Damn, this is too hard to believe this is happening to all of us right now. The ability for us to travel into other people's lucid dreams and be able to turn their dreams into a lucid nightmare to live through. Is this why P6, you did not feel any pain last night as you fell into lava? Was it because Saul was in your dream instead? But how? When Saul was living and you were dead? No, Saul's soul was not able to travel into your body when your body was dead. So P6, you had to change part of the outcome in Saul's dream and not in your dream, like what Saul thinks. If it was the other way around, then yes. Okay everyone prep up, and P6. How I really want to keep you out of this next experiment. But I want to see if you can do it again, if so. What can you do next? Saul and you saving the world. Hey Dr. Mio, I just overheard what you just said to P6. And for you two to think you can change the outcome of my lucid dreams, ha ha. You guys are dreaming too much to think this way. Hell, I cannot even control my lucid dreams, so how in the hell can you think that you are able to do this? Haha, <laughs> all of you need to come over here and smoke something with me, maybe one day you will be able to think like I do and see the world a different way than what the way your governments have created it, for the world to see. If everyone would think like I do, then you would not have a government telling us what to do in life. Especially during the virus lockdowns to imprison the world. 
I wonder what they are doing while we are behind our closed doors during the government's lockdowns. Bankrupting the world. Dem smoke makes you think above the diesel clouds surrounding the world in an endless smoke. Cough. Cough, cough. Which only makes me cough. Cough, cough more. Dem this is some good smoke, so let me blow it in all of your faces. Cough. Cough, cough. Ha ha. Damn you, Saul. Take your smoke somewhere else. Okay, do we have any volunteers who are willing to die again and travel into the unknown with this marijuana addict? Haha, ha, all of my patients again. Listen patients, sure we have four nurses now, but they are still new on the job, so we have to wait some time for them to learn the nooks and crannies. So P4, I think that you need a death break and let the others die for a change. I should be saying this to P6, but how I want to see if he can do what he was able to do last night. Get ready for prep patience. Dr. Mew, after my soul drowning in lava, or should I say, my soul being deep fried into lava, as my soul turned into stone last night. I would be more than happy to sit out this one next nightmare for soul's soul to live through, instead of mine. Cough. 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 Dr. Mio. If you think that your patients can change the outcome of my lucid dreams, they will have the hell of a time trying. Cough. 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 Because I will never stop smoking, not even in my lucid dreams to be able to be brainwashed, like how the world is brainwashed to worship their governments, as if the governments were their god. Cough. Cough, cough. Time for me to get some sleep and the rest of you. Everyone, have a peaceful soul death inside my lucid nightmare tonight. Ha ha. Soul, where are we at? Looks like a place of hell, from all the wars that I am seeing right now. Why are all the wars from around the world, surrounding us here at this one place, where we are standing at? Hi guys. Cough. Cough, cough. Glad to see the four of you making it here today. We are in the most remote part of the world, called the four corners of the earth. This is where east, north, west and south join together onto the earth. All around you are the wars that were created from only one tyrannical government who wants to control the entire world with the new world order. As we look all around us, we are standing in the only part of the earth where humans have the freedom to love and to do what they please to do in life without having any law enforcement morons or LEM who work for the Illuminati government telling us what to do and what not to do in life. Even standing right here and right now, this is the only place left on earth where I have the freedom of speech to say anything that I would like to say and not worry of having the fear to be incarcerated for what my words can explain to others. Amazon took one of my books off the Amazon bookstore and it was the autobiography about myself called The Yellow Cigarette. This is so ridiculous how our freedom of speech has been taken away from us in the USA. My words are to make others see the real truth about their own tyrannical governments. I know if one day, Dr. Mio writes a book about my lucid dreams, no one in the USA who publishes books, not even Amazon will ever dare to publish his book about my lucid dreams and my lucid nightmares that we have experienced so far together. But you will see that many are too blind and deaf and will never be able to see or hear the real truth, matter of fact. We are in the blind man's land, where the blind only leads the blind into the pits of hell. So follow me like you once followed your government's every word that they taught you to believe in, inside their government schools and their privately owned fake news media outlets. Follow me into the unknown. The unknown that the governments only know. The unknown where our souls will be lost, for eternity, inside the pits of hell. For our sins that we will oppose upon the earth, in the sake of our evil government's illegal laws that they oppose upon us. So, it looks like you are leading us into a war. Why? Our nation has pumped all of the earth's water to remove the oil from the earth, and our people are dying. We need to go to war and invade this only nation on earth that has the only water left on earth to keep the USA British Illuminati government murderers alive. We have no choice but to follow orders from the Illuminati government or they will execute us for war crimes. So, P6 is right. And what are you doing with the government drones? I do not want to lose my soul like this, having to murder innocent children with the government's killer drones. Soul, do not use the killer robots to fight the Illuminati's wars. 
Do not let the Illuminati's killer robots run the streets freely to kill who they please to kill when your government programmed the killer robots to kill anything that moves. Soul, do not have a lucid nightmare like this and bring the war to the brink of destruction. Soul, do not go any further with your lucid nightmares because parents by the millions are dying right now. Soul, you cannot turn their children into war-torn orphans of this world. Are you insane? Soul, do not point your weapon at me for speaking the truth to you. Soul, I am your friend. Soul, why are you pointing your weapon at me? Soul, I did nothing to you but to tell you the truth about your government and how they have convinced you to kill for them so that they can have their new world order. Soul, put down your weapon before it is too late and you kill me, but also you kill the rest of the world because you only follow the Illuminati's one world order law. Stop now, soul. Do not point your weapon at P5. And do not do this to the rest of the world, so that the Illuminati can have their new world order to rule over everyone on earth with their unlawful laws that they have created for you to obey during their wars of time. Listen to me, soul. Do not kill. Only to please your government officials? Stop the wars now, soul. Stop the wars from creating any more war-torn orphans upon this earth. P6. You're dead. Because you do not obey the Illuminati government laws. No, soul. Do not point your weapon at me. Point your weapon at the ones who've taken your freedom from you. Point your weapon towards the ones who are trying to take the world's freedom away from them, too. Oh my god. You shot me, soul. Why? Why do you want to kill me? I never did anything to you. My government told me to kill you. And the rest of you too. You are either with us or you are with the terrorists. If you choose to defend the terrorists who have no weapons, instead of defending your governments who do have the weapons. All of us will die, just like how P6 did. Soul, put down your weapon. We surrender. We do not want to die, like how P6 did. We would rather die within our government's bloody hands wars. Good choice for all of you. So, let's go conquer the rest of the world for the Illuminati's new world order. Oh, guys, before we kill innocent families to depopulate the human race. I want my soul to be burned forever in the burning pits of hell by only worshipping a few wealthy, evil rulers upon this world. Who are the secret society that wants to rule the entire world with their one world cashless currency so that they know exactly what you are buying and selling in life? Hail, hail to our USA Illuminati Nazi rulers from hell. Sol, I refuse to go to war with you or the USA Illuminati Nazi government. I would rather AWOL than to lose my soul in the pits of hell. For the sake of our God's creations. Then you have become a traitor P2, so death will be bestowed upon you. Men, kill the traitor, this is an order. Fire at once. No Sol, do not force your men to kill me. No, why did you have the USA soldiers shoot me? I am bleeding soul. Why did you have your men shoot me? I never did anything to you but to refuse to kill others. To prevent the Illuminati's one world order from existing, to try to save the world from dying in their bloody hands. Let's go men, if any one of you dare not to obey the rules your government has demanded upon us, you too will die like the rest of the traitors. We have a one world order to conquer. So all of you must obey the Illuminati's Nazi orders or all of you will be reprimanded to death. Sol, why are we going towards China? We do not have enough men and women who are transgender to fight a war like what you are trying to get us into right now. P3, are you scared like how men without balls get scared? Become a man who has titties and fights with honor and dignity like the rest of the transgenders who are fighting the Illuminati's Nazi wars. You are only killing innocent victims with no weapons. So there is no reason why you should be afraid. It will be like killing dogs on the streets. Just think of them as peasants that only want to kill the world with their remains. Now, pick up your weapon and point it at the old ladies who are ready to die anyway. There you go. Now, all you have to do is unlock the auto fire and pull the trigger, then move your rifle around. Your rifle will do the rest of the killings for you. 
Once you are done, you point your rifle towards other innocent victims and repeat the same order that was given to you, again, and again, and again, and so on, until we have won the Illuminati's Nazi wars, using terrorism. P3, no. I told you to point your weapon at the innocent victims who have no weapons to defend themselves. Do not be pointing your weapon towards me. So put your weapon down, this is an order, I am your Nazi commander-in-chief. No Sol, this is my order, for you to obey right now. You have no right to demand me, to become a murderer for you or for your government who wants to control the entire world with their one world order. You have no right to want others to kill for you. Are you mad Sol? Look at all the nations that now lay in ruins after the UN, USA, and England have invaded those nations for their so-called new world order. How many millions and millions of children have died so far in your Illuminati government's terror wars for their so-called new world order? For me to want to kill an innocent person who has no weapon, would make me become a coward. Just like your government officials who have no balls to go to war for themselves. But rather to have transgenders do their killings for them instead. This is a forbidden war that you are leading me into. And for me to want to die in China, for your mistakes in life, by trying to prevent the wars from coming onto your own nation. Best to kill the beast before the beast kills the entire world. Sol, you are a beast. Just like the Illuminati Nazi government is. You're dead to me, Sol. Just like my Illuminati Nazi government, is dead to me too. P3, why did you shoot your commander-in-chief? Matter of fact, why did you shoot me, when I never did anything to you? My vision is turning red, like the blood that I have seen flowing all over the streets around the world, for the Illuminati's One World Order. I am dying, P3. Please help me. I am dying, P3. Sol, you need to die like the rest of your Illuminati Nazi government officials need to die the same way too, who wants their one world order. Look all around you Sol. As your vision darkens into the darkness forever. Look at every city that now lays in ruins from your bloody hands. Where do the children lay now? Since you've killed their parents, while destroying their homes. Sol, you have a long life ahead of you inside the burning pits of hell. You've created your own hell for the world to live in. You will be living in that same hell for eternity, just like the rest of the world has to live in your hell that you have created upon this earth. Die Sol, and not in peace.